Hey, my name is Sean. Welcome to Echoes in Eternity Bourbon. You ready to travel out west? Same ground where all those wagons roll, thanks to Historic Trails West. So for those that have watched the channel, know maybe that maybe you know this, maybe you don't. I am what I consider born again Southern. I've been in the Southern states in Alabama and Georgia now for 32 years. But my history, I guess your origin story, I started in Vegas. I started in the West Coast. I was born and raised in Vegas for my first 20 years, you know, all the way through and into college before I ended up moving to the South, fell in love with the area and the people. And said, this is where I want to make my home. But I start on the West Coast. So when there's something new that comes out from the West Coast, and you saw the videos yesterday, and they're not necessarily new, but, you know, Westward, we're excited about that pick. But I kept hearing about this smoke eye. And, you know, I don't have it here. This is from Colorado Springs, Colorado. It's coming in at a whopping 131 proof. I haven't had the opportunity to try it yet. But luckily, Mark Gale there on the West Coast, you know, Jesus and Mark but hooked me up with some stuff that I couldn't find in my area and come from the West Coast. And I'm so thankful for both of you for this. So today I'm going to actually be reviewing this one. So Smoke Eye Hill out of Colorado Springs, Colorado, a barrel proof coming in at 131.2 proof. Now, I've heard that this thing's won a lot of awards and I've heard, you know, some people call it the stag killer because it beat stag and stuff. I think it was the Ascot Awards. They won a lot of stuff with a lot of people that I respect. Um, so I'm very interested in trying this, but we'll see what I think about it. You know, that's the fun part is we all experience and taste things different. Um, but it's funny that if it's good bourbon or good whiskey or good rye, no matter what you get out of it, if it's good, it's going to shine. And that's what I'm excited about on this. So let's get into this. Got my my old Weller glass today. Loving this. And, and, and those that, if you haven't seen it yet, it came out on the Sunday video. I'm actually giving away a pair of pours this upcoming Sunday. A two ounce pour of this Smoke Eye Hill. And then a two ounce pour of this Woodford. This, this I think it was Heart, is it Heartwood? The Heart Release. Um, so excited about giving this away. Uh, as well, not the bottle, but a two ounce pour to a couple of people. So excited about that. But let's see what I think of these. You know, I know this one I like because I had it before. I just couldn't find it in my area. But I'm going to do a review on this. This one I've never had. So excited about this. Let's see what we got. Looking at it, it's got a nice orangish color to it. Um, a little bit of amber in there. Let it roll on that glen. I like to get it all the way up towards the very top so I, I get a lot of great effort. And I'm seeing a lot, a lot of oils through this thing right off the bat. Uh, the legs are coming down a little fast, but it looks like there's going to be a lot of viscosity in here. Got my Weller glass today, if you guys can see that. Uh, but beautiful coloring on that. So excited about that. Let me get into the nose and let's see what I get on the nose on this. Now, what's really neat on this is I'm getting kind of more of a savory than I am a sweet nose on this. Um, so I'm pulling, I get a little bit of the ethanol, but not a lot. But this really hasn't decanted a whole lot. So we got to be, be nice on it. Let it open up a little bit. Get a little oxygen in there. Now I'm getting a little more of the sugars on here. This one's kind of more of a light brown sugar as opposed to a caramel or a burnt sugar. I'm getting more of a light brown sugar on this. Um, it's got some vanilla that's shining through. I get I get some nice oak on this is one of the things I like. So kind of the trivecta and things that you're expecting out of bourbon. You're expecting some kind of a sweet component, um, you, you know, whether it's a caramel or a brown sugar or a burnt sugar or sometimes a, a banana foster type of thing going on, um, you know, but I'm, I'm getting more of that brown sugar. I'm getting some vanilla on it. And then the other part of that is what kind of oak are you getting off of this? Now, the one thing I do is I don't try to go hunt um, what they're all about because I, I don't see an age statement on here. 
Um, you know, but I don't know how long this has been aged. I don't know the char. I don't even really see the mash bill on there. If, unless it's on the bottle, I don't want to hunt it because I don't want to see something that might influence my thoughts. If they have tasting notes or something like that, if it gets in your head, sometimes you pull those things. That's why I don't like to look at those things. I kind of get this undercurrent of like a raisin and almost like a sawdust type of note to it, which I'm really kind of digging on there. Get some nice sweet oak in there. I get a little bit of sweet tobacco. So I'm getting some light brown sugar, some vanillas. I'm getting like a little bit of a, a raisin. Uh, I'm getting some of the oak in there, getting some sweet tobacco and kind of like this sweet sawdust type of note in there. Let's give it a taste on the palate, see what we got. Wow. So this thing is finishing really, really nice. I do get some of that. It's funny because the, it, the sweetness kind of comes in a couple of different waves. You get the initial sweetness. It's a little bit muted, but this kind of like penetrates into, into your like taste buds. And you really get this nice sweetness that comes along with it, but it takes a minute for it to kind of ramp up. At 131 proof, first pour of the day, I didn't do anything to set up on this, just first pour of the day. This thing out right for me is not burning me up. It's giving me a nice finish, a little bit of dryness on the back, which I like. So I'm getting some of the sweet oak, some of the bitterness from the oak a little bit. But I, I kind of get some like cinnamon or and almost like a um, star of anise type of a taste on it on the back of this, which is really kind of a neat flavor for me, which I really, really like. Yeah, there's this kind of a, a funkiness, like a like a clove star of anise thing on the back that I'm really digging. I do get a little bit of that raisin. The brown sugar is a little more intense than I get off the nose. It's got a very, it's a medium plus to medium long finish on it. At 131 proof, it's drinking under proof too. So this is probably drinking about 110 to 115 proof. Uh, I'm excited because I'm bringing a pour of this. This is Sunday. Uh, this will come out Monday, but I'm bringing a pour of this over to a friend's house. Um, and I can't wait to see what his thoughts are on it too, because that's always the fun part. He's actually going to get to try this before this video comes out. And he'll be like, ah, that, I understand that I got that or Sean, you're full of crap. But that's the fun part about things. We all taste things a little bit different. This has got the most unusual mouthfeel for me because it starts off real creamy, but then it's like as you swallow it, it gets a little bit thinner, but it really penetrates into my taste buds. But it's not blowing me up like 131 proof you would expect. It just drinks very, very smooth. And now I'm getting a little bit uh, of that Kentucky hug, but it's nothing that just sets me on fire. So big fan of this right now. I know, man. I think these are running about 80 bucks, 80 to 90 dollars. Get a little bit of a pepperiness on it too. You know, there was a note that we had um, in a tasting that I did. And I'll tell you what, it, it was Myron from Bourbon Drop. And it kind of reminds me on this a little bit too. I kind of get like this candied jalapeno thing going on. I don't know why, if it's just stuck in my mind or if it's just, I'm kind of getting that peppery sweetness, kind of like the cowboy candy stuff going on. So what are my thoughts on, on Smoke Eye Hill? Number one, it's a buy. It is absolutely a buy. For me, it would be a backup. I mean, I would definitely say I've got to have a backup on this. Um, man, I'll, I guess how how would I peg this as far at eighty or ninety dollars? I really kind of think it's undervalued a little bit on my tater factor scale. Uh, I would probably give it about a uh, about a point seven five, which means that 
I think that for me, and this is just me, I think this bottle has a value of probably in that 100 to 125 range if you can find it if it's getting at 80 bucks i think it's a value for it because it's not something you're going to drink every day it's it's high proof but it has some different complexities to it and for me i would think in the market you know there's certain things that are overvalued i i honestly think to begin with this is maybe a little undervalued so i would say it has a tater factor of about a 0.75 which means that i would pay another 25 percent on top of what the, the MSRP is to get this as a backup, and I would feel comfortable with it. Man, Monday, I hope you're having a great day at work. I hope things are going great for you. I hope you're bringing great energy to your teams and they're bringing it right back. But most importantly, I hope that time flies by at work so that you can get to the most important time, which is your off time, your time with your family and friends or for yourself. And I hope that dial just turns it down a little bit. Man, I hope that when you have that off time, you do something that grows you as a person. You know, learn something new, read a new book, check out some stuff. I watch YouTube all the time to learn new stuff. Like I said, I think the stock market is the thing that's got me most interested right now. And it's not just, oh, I want to make a pile of money. I want to understand how things work. And it's part of my nature. I like to see how things work. And so that's my newest thing that I'm on. And, my, and, and I always drive my family crazy because when I get into something, I get into something. And so I'm going to be watching stuff that's going on, trying to understand, trying to predict things, see things, see where I'm right, see where I'm wrong, just because I'm interested and I like to learn things. I hope you find things new in your life that, you, that interest you as well. Look, I hope you had a great weekend. I had a very good weekend. But most importantly, y'all, Monday's starting. I hope you have a fantastic week. Cheers. And God bless. Y'all have an amazing day.